Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Revised K-12 Curriculum Math Grade 2 Quarter 1 Lesson 3 Day 1 Our topic for today is about Recognize and Represent 101 to 200 Using Concrete and Pictorial Models This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher Let's start! Learning Objectives Count up to 200 Recognize and represent 101 to 200 using concrete and pictorial models and read and write numerals 101 up to 200 Read aloud the numbers that I will be pointing at randomly. Long Unit Remember this? Long Unit What are the models and what they represent? Recall your past lessons in grade 1 where they made use of units and longs to represent numbers. Use your show me board to write the number represented by the given longs and units one at a time. First, the answer is 48. Second, the answer is 65. Third, the answer is 82. Fourth, the answer is 100. If one long is made up of 10 units, 10 longs or 100 units, make one flat. Show a flat and write this on the board. One flat is 10 longs or 100 units. 10 longs, 100 units is equivalent to one flat. Make the flats, longs, and units removable or detachable. Try to answer this table. 1 to 5. 6 to 10. chart, there are units, long, and or flat in each row. You are to place each one under its corresponding column and then determine the number they represent together. How many units do you see in row 1? Answer, there is one unit.
In which column should we place this one unit? Answer, it should be placed in the fifth column or the units column. Detach the unit from the second column and transfer it under the units column. How many longs do you see? Answer, there are no longs. How many flats do you see? Answer, there is one flat. In which column should we place this one flat? Answer, it should be placed in the third column or the flats column. Detach the flat from the second column and transfer it under the flats column. Can you tell the number represented by one flat and one unit? Answer, the number is 101. The digit zero in the tens place means that there are no longs or zero tens. Write 101 under the six column and then write the word 101 beside it since there are zero tens. We do not write it when we write the number in words. 101 is represented by 101 units. The chart should look like this. Do the same process with rows 2 to 10. Write also the word beside each number. Here's numbers 1 to 5. Here's numbers 6 to 10. Share your observations about the numbers in the last column. Some possible observations. Number one, all the numbers start with one. Number two, the leftmost digit one is always read as 100. Three, the numbers with no longs have zero as the middle digit. Four, the number with no units has zero as the rightmost digit. Five, when the numbers are written, it is like counting from 1 to 10, except that we first say 100, then followed by the number 1, 2, up to 10. Example, 101. Six, all the numbers have three digits. How many digits does each number have? 
Answer, each number has three digits. Read the numbers emphasizing the latter part of each number to make the pattern more obvious. One hundred, one, one hundred, two, one hundred, three, one hundred, four, one hundred, five, one hundred, six, one hundred, seven, one hundred, eight, one hundred, nine, one hundred, ten. Can you still remember the 100 chart we used at the start of our lesson? We can use a similar chart to present the numbers 101 to 110. Here's the chart. Can you tell the numbers that should be in the second row? Answer, they should be 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, up to 120. How do you know? In a hundred charts, the second row of numbers are from 11 to 20. This time, we will transform these numbers into three-digit numbers by adding one as the leftmost digit. Examples, 11 will be 111. 12 will be 112. The number 1 represents 100, just like in the first row. Complete the chart. The chart will look like this. Here's the completed chart. To summarize the lesson, ask the learners the following. What numbers did we talk about today? Answer, we talked about the numbers 101 to 200. What did you do to determine the numbers 101 to 200? Answer, we determined the numbers 101 to 110 based on their representations using flats, longs, and or units. One hundred one. 1 flat and 1 unit 102 1 flat and 2 units 103 1 flat and 3 units 104 1 flat and 4 units 105 1 flat and 5 units 106 1 flat and 6 units 107, 1 flat and 7 units. 108, 1 flat and 8 units. 109, 1 flat and 9 units. And 110, 1 flat and 1 long. Then, we continued writing the numbers 111 to 200 
based on the pattern that we observed. A. Write the number represented by the following flats, longs, and units inside the box. Let's answer. Number 1. Answer. 119. Number 2. 136 B write the missing numbers Number 1 103 104 105 106 107 Number 2, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165. Number 3, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Practice counting from 101 up to 200 at home. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.